Hello and welcome in. In this video, I'll be going over how to make the junkyard and doing the upgrade to medium. The junkyard is useful in many different ways. It doesn't have any skill requirements unless you want to make the steel rods. Yes, you can find them, which is a lot easier than making them and you don't take a chance of getting burned. If you decide to make them, it's gonna require the blast furnace and I highly recommend having the fire suit like I made in the previous video definitely be worth it rather than using oven mitts and taking a chance of getting burns across your entire body and then taking the chance of dying. Billy over here is going to go ahead and start making the small junkyard. It will require one hammer, three nails, three planks, and a shovel. After you have made the junkyard, you will have to place it. Please make sure not to place it on the edge, otherwise it will clip through and look real funky. So we will just go ahead and move back over here and drop the junk pile. In order to fill your junkyard, you will need a small bag of trash for the small junkyard. You can find small piles of junk in mining and also medium piles of junk in mining. You can find them in the world as well. I suggest doing mining so it's a two for one and you get other resources that are needed. Make sure to drop the small junk pile out of your inventory after you fill it. If you did not find the three steel rods, you can go ahead and make them. You will need a total of 12 coke or 13, which is made out of kiln using charcoal. From there, you will need to recycle steel items for steel ingots, which I'm doing here. If you end up making the steel rods, you're gonna need 12 steel ingots and 12 coke or 13 if you don't have the steel smithy hammer. So once you have 12 ingots, you will be able to make three steel rods. Again, you will need 13 steel ingots if you need to make the steel hammer. You will also need chicken wire, which is a pair of pliers plus two wires equals one chicken wire. You need a total of eight. Now you can do the process of upgrading your junk pile, which will require eight chicken wire, three steel rods, a shovel, and a full small junk pile. It will put it back into your inventory and you'll have to redrop it afterwards. From here, we will have to fill it up with a medium box with trash. After you have filled it, you will be able to search junk with junk. So you'll need a medium box with trash. As you can see, I pulled the tire out. You can take a sledgehammer plus the Hydrocraft car parts, not normal car parts, and you will be able to make scrap metal. There are a ton of items in the junkyard that you will need for other items like making a laboratory in Hydrocraft. You'll need the plastic bins. Do not throw out anything that kind of stands out out of the junkyard. You want to keep as much of it as you possibly can because you never know when it's going to be useful. That ends the junkyard tutorial up to the medium. The medium junkyard will be required for other items like the laboratory so that way we can start making bullets because it requires three small plastic bins. If you end up getting those, do not remove them. You will need them later on. I do have other YouTube videos related to Hydrocraft, and I hope that this video helped you out. And if the other ones help you out too, please let me know. Thank you guys and have a good rest of your day.